Hello, students of science. Let's talk about units and measurements. Now, we are not going to use some four-letter words here. No inch, no mile, foot, pint, yard, acre. We use the metric system. Let's talk about why. Now, anything that's in parentheses or slide that's in parentheses, you don't need to copy. So don't copy this. Just listen for a second. So we don't use these imperial or English base units. We don't use these in science because they suck. They're hard to convert. you got to memorize like length is foot, weight, pound, temperature, Fahrenheit. We don't use that or volume even gallons uh, or gals. We don't use those. Now, before you're like, oh, whatever. No, not everyone else does. There are literally three countries in the world that don't. Liberia, Myanmar, and good old America. Only ones that don't use the metric system. Yeah, Grandpa Simpson had it right. So, idiotic system that Americans use. Three pizzas in the yard, four cups in the court. Here's the rest of the world. Everything is 10. Everything is 10 or 100 or 1,000. It's really easy to convert. Here's what you do need to write down. Here are the SI, or Système International, sorry for anyone who actually speaks French, the base units. Length is the meter, or M. Mass is the gram, or kilograms, we'll talk about that later. Temperature is degrees Celsius. Time is seconds. And the volume, and volume is the liter, also known as centimeters cubed, or cc. Sometimes you might hear people on a medical show like, ah, I need five cc's of adrenaline stat. They're really saying cubic centimeters. Even people on medical shows or anyone going into the medical field needs to know the metric system. All measurements have to include units to be correct if you are ever writing something out. Here's why metric is better than imperial. If you were to convert one mile into inches, you would have to do some math. Because one mile is 5,280 feet, one foot is 12 inches. To get to that, you'd need to multiply 5,280 times 12, which can be done, but you need a calculator. You can't do that in your head. That's no fun. If you were to convert three gallons in ounces, first off, you have to be like me and look up how many gallons or how many ounces there are in a gallon, which is 128. I didn't know that. 128 times 3 gives you 384. You can't do that in your head. Let's see how metric does it. First off, the units of volume in the imperial system are, and I am not exaggerating, I'm not making this up, check the description, I include uh, all these different ones here, gallon cup, uh, it's a whole bunch. These are all the different ways to measure volume in the imperial system. How do you do it in metric? Well, it's liters. Way easier. So let's talk about why metric is better. If you were to convert one kilometer into centimeters, one kilometer is a thousand meters, one meter is a hundred centimeters, a thousand times a hundred, well, count the zeros. I got five. One with five zeros after it is a hundred thousand centimeters. That's it. If you were to convert three liters into milliliters, all you need to know is one liter is a thousand mils times three, three thousand milliliters. Super ridiculously easy. Here are the different prefixes Deidre, metric, kilo, deci, centi, milli, micro, nano, pico. We're not even going to discuss pico, but you can see they're all just a power of 10. Just multiply by 10, so much easier. So, here's some examples of the metric system. To measure the length of a fingernail, millimeters, probably a good way to go. Length of your desk, meters. The distance from the school to your house, that'd be in kilometers. The amount of pop or soda in a can, that'd be milliliters. The amount of water in a lake, you'd probably measure that one in a larger one, liters. The time that a commercial lasts, that'd be in seconds. And the amount of active ingredient in a pill would probably be in milligrams. I want you to write down two of these and come up with one on your own. So something else that's on or that's not on here, that would be another example of a metric system. A length of time, a length of volume, etc. etc. I realized I weighed nothing on the milligram scale and I was like zero mg. Get it? Okay, I want to explain it. Alright, here's how we convert. Now you don't need to write this down, just try some of these examples here. We're going to convert 36 milliliters to liters. The way you do it is you find the current prefix. In this case, it's milli. Now I find the new prefix. Now, in this case, there is no new prefix. So if there is none, it's base. So what I'm really going from is milli to base. Find the direction you need to go and count how many boxes and move that. So let's take a look. I'm going from milli to base. So I start with milli and I go one, two, three to the left. So on your paper, I want you to write, convert 36 mLs to L, I want you to write three with a left arrow over it. This means the decimal point, which is there, it's at the end of that six, it's invisible. You don't write a decimal if you don't need it. I'm going to move that one, two, 
3 to the right, and any place that I need to, I'm going to fill in with the 0. So that becomes 0 0.036 liters. Let's try another. Convert 2.6 kilometers to centimeters. So I start with kilo, I end with centi. So I'm going to start here with kilo, and I'm trying to go to centi. So I'm going to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right. So write 5 with a right arrow over it to say I'm going 5 to the right. And I'm going to move that decimal point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which leads me to 260,000 centimeters. Simple. Let's try another one. 0.3 nanoseconds to centiseconds. So I'm going from nano to centi, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to the left. Now I'm going to take that decimal point there, and I'm going to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to the left, which gives me 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0